Oh man, my kite's in the tree, Doc. I can't, I hate this stupid tree. I'm so sad. Don't be sad, Marty. We'll go back in time and we'll make sure that your kite doesn't get stuck in the tree. All right, Doc, that sounds great. I'm gonna go get my boots. Doc, I'm back. I got my boots. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Marty, Marty, we have a problem. The time travel car won't start. Oh no. What can we do? What are we gonna do? My chapped, bloody testicles, Marty. What? You want me to lick them? Yes, Marty. It's the only way to fix our time travel car. You have to lick my balls, Marty. The saliva needs to be warm and fresh, and it must be administered by your tongue, Marty. But I don't understand how that would work, Doc. I, I, don't, I don't. I'm confused. I don't. Marty, trust me. I built this car with my own two hands, from the ground up. Hurry! Okay, Doc, you convinced me. Here goes nothing. That's it, Marty. It's working, Marty. It's working! Okay, Marty, here we are, in your front lawn 30 years ago. The very same day that that tree was planted. Well, Doc, who do you think planted it? And how, do, how are we gonna stop them? It doesn't matter who planted the tree, Marty. The only way to stop them. Again? That's right, Marty. <coughs> We're in the year 1955 now. What do you think goes on here, Marty? You think that you, if, if, if you saw some guy licking some balls, you'd just walk by happily? I don't think so, Marty. That ain't how it works here, Marty. If this man coming to plant trees in your yard sees you sucking on my balls, something <coughs> scientific and magical will happen to him. Trust me, Marty. Something real magical and scientific. But, Doc... I thought licking your balls fixes the time card. There isn't time to argue, Marty. He's coming right now. Now get down on your knees and stick your tongue on my balls. I'm a doctor, Marty. Uh, tr trust me, Marty. All right, Doc. Say no more. I'm going down to your balls right now. Ouch. It's working, Marty. Uh, oh, oh, ouch! Ah, it hurts! I've disappeared. It hurts. Jesus Christ. It burns. Good job, Marty. Doc, we killed him. Now why don't we go back and fly your kite, Marty? It'll be fun, Marty. <laughs> oh, oh, Doc, this is the most fun. Because now that there's no tree, I can fly the kite all in the yard. <laughs> yes, Marty. <laughs> it's fun, Marty. <laughs> Arr, matey. But still, I sometimes often wonder who that 1950s man was. We killed him, remember? I wonder who he was. Oh my god, Marty! You're disappearing! Oh god, Doc! Why? What's, what's going on? You, you gotta help me, Doc! I'm fading away! I'm disappearing! It hurts! That 1950s man, Marty! He must have been your great, 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 great grandfather! Hurry, Doc! What can we do? You gotta fix me! I don't know what to do, Marty! Wait, Doc, I've got an idea! Y your balls! Let me lick on your balls, Doc! By Jove, you're right, Marty! Hurry! This time is a little different, Marty! You have to jerk me off, Marty! Jerk me off! Oh, oh! It's working! You did it, Doc! You really, you saved my life! You saved my life! No, Marty, we saved your life. We saved your life. What is it, Marty? What's the matter? Oh, Doc, I'm in big trouble. I wasted the whole summer flying my kite in the front yard when I should have been studying for this huge test I got. When is the test, Marty? Ah, oh, Doc, it's tomorrow. I don't stand a chance. Lick my balls, Marty. Lick my f balls. <laughs> Marty, drop whatever you're doing. I gotta tell you about a comic book called Scud the Disposable Assassin. But Doc, I'm right in the middle of, of standing all alone by myself in this darkened room. I'm having a whole lot of fun. Marty, I know that's important, but it can wait. All right, you talk me into it. What's this comic all about? Marty, Marty, just relax a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. Better turn up your hearing aid, Marty. All right, first things first, Marty. Scud the Disposable Assassin <laughs> is a comic book about Scud robots. <laughs> and Scud robots are, are assassins that kill people. 
and you hire them by putting some quarters into a vending machine. And the vending machines are sitting out there on the side of the street. Can you believe that, Marty? Wow. So if I wanted somebody dead, say my grandmammy, all I'd have to do is put some coins in a vending machine, and then it, Scott will come out and kill him. Kill her off for me, and then I don't have to. I don't have to take her to the to the po uh, bingo machine, bingo nights anymore, and then she'll die. That's right, Marty. It's that simple. Marty, once the scud destroys his tar target, then he himself just is destroyed as well. There's a connection there, Marty. The scud blows up and self-destructs, and it dies all over the place. It self-destructs. I don't, I don't like anything about that, Doc. I'm really sad about that. I, I, I don't want to do anything about that. I, I don't want anything to do with that. Well, then you're in for some good news, Marty. Because this comic book follows the story of Scud Model number 1373. He's a smart Scud. Because instead of skill killing his target, he decides to cripple his target and place it on life support. So that way he can stay alive. Boy, that life support sure is expensive, Doc. I, I, my, we could bear, I, my, my grandmammy was on life support. I, I don't even know how people pay for it. It's really, it's just out of control, Doc. Last time I heard life support, it sure does cost a lot of money with the, with the health insurance problems. How, how does this scud guy pay for it? Because we didn't even pay for it. He pays for it by taking more assassin drops, Marty. What did you think he was going to happen, Marty? What are you, crazy, Marty? What did you think was going to happen, Marty? It's a comic book. It's not real life, Marty. It's just a comic book, Marty. It's not real life. It's not real life, Marty. It's a comic book. Hey, Doc, I'm looking here on my iPhone, and it says here that Rob Schraub, the creator of, of Scud, quit the comic book out after 20 issues and then he left the story unfinished. I want to know the ending. I ain't going to read something that doesn't have an ending on it. Not to worry, Marty, because the final four issues of Scud the Disposable Assassin are coming out in 2008, and the story will finally come to a close. Wow, that's pretty great, Doc. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, it's great. Now look, Marty. Look what I found outside our house, Marty. Oh, no. It's real. Scud is real, Marty. It's real. No, it's not just a comic book. Oh, God, it's real. Get ready. The whole world's going to die, Marty, because Scud is real, Marty. It's real. I can't believe it's real. Scud is real, Marty. It's real. It's real. Because it's real, Marty. It's not just a comic Scud book. Scud is real, no, Marty. It's real. Scud is it's real. Oh, no. Scud it's is real, real it's Marty. It's real. Hey, Doc, what are you up to? Lock it up, Marty. Lock it up? I, I, don't, I don't even know what that means, Doc. I never heard about that before. Lock it up means shut your fucking mouth up, Marty, and be quiet for once in your life. Wow, I'm really impressed about that. Where'd you, lear where'd you learn that about that from? <laughs> Marty, I learned it from under the cap of this Gatorade bottle. Gatorade is delicious and healthy, and now for a limited time, you can find urban slang terminology under the cap. Wow, Doc, I can't believe all the stuff you're learning from Gatorade bottles. You know, it almost makes up for the fact that Gatorade puts all those harmful chemicals in their, in their drink and, and a lot of people are getting sick from it. Lock your fucking mouth up, Marty! Gatorade, now featuring urban slang definitions under the cap of every bottle. It's delicious, it's Gatorade. And now, the freedom of Channel 101. Please welcome Doc Smith and Marty McDonald's. Hey Marty, lick my balls! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, there are many advantages you have when making a Channel 101 show that you wouldn't have if you were making a regular TV show. That's right, Doc. In this short segment, we're going to show you several examples of how Channel 101 filmmaking offers you brownless creative freedom. Great way to segue to our first example. Explicit content. Hey, Marty. <laughs> Did you happen to catch that new episode of Baywatch last night? Yeah, all those stupid sluts running around with their big old titties hanging around and, and they're in the bathing suits with their titties flapping around. Yeah, but you see how they never really showed any skin, Marty? Take a look at this clip from the Channel 101 show, Booby Patrol. All right, you're the boss. Yeah, just do it. It's a good idea. Here it goes. Now you couldn't do, do that on regular TV. Shoot where you want with no permits and no release forms. Oh boy, Doc. I can't wait to shoot the first scene from my courtroom drama. I'm making it for regular mainstream television. <laughs> That's so fast, Marty. Those courtroom locations are so expensive to rent. But that's not the case with Channel 101 shows. Feast your eyes on a clip from the Channel 101 show, Universal Backlot Sneaker People Who Sneak Around and Shoot Locations Without Permission. The show. 
Let's go steal some locations. Free use of trademark characters. In Channel 101 shows, you can pretty much do whatever- Hey, what's up, my friends? It's me, Garfield. Man, I've been busy f***ing your old girls all day. I also, I ate the sh** out of my owner John's asshole. So I was just dropping by to let you guys know that I f ate Mondays. Oh, and I'm gonna eat lasagna and go d also dig up the corpse of Terry Schiavo and f Odie and Nermal are gonna be there, so, you know, if you guys wanna go, that's, um, it's your choice. Well, I don't think there's too much more explaining to do on that topic. Free use of copyright music and theatrical scores. This one's pretty, pretty much self-explanatory. And also, uh, we're running long. Uh, use of union celebrities for free. You know what's funny, Marty? Haha, <laughs> Garfield? Yeah, he was pretty funny, but I wasn't thinking about him. I was thinking about the ridiculous sag and after fees that are required in order to use a union actor. Yeah, but not with Channel 101, right, Doc? That's right, Marty. You can get famous celebrities to be in your show for free. Take a look from this clip from the famous Channel 101 show, Celebrity Surprise in My Closet. Okay, I have a huge surprise for you. I want you to open the closet. Hey! Wow, nice. Good one. I was a little man. That's sort of current. Hey, I know that guy! I've seen him on TV! How'd they get him? Shut your f mouth! I'm trying to wrap this, <coughs> this thing up here! So that's it. <coughs> Those are all the reasons Channel 101 is easier to make shows for. Hey, wait a second, Doc! I still don't understand Shut the how the f Marty. Have a good night tonight, everybody in the audience. And also, someone give Abed a ride home. He doesn't have a car. Good night! I saw them moving in, but something's weird about them. Jason, you know better than to judge other animated characters. It doesn't matter how someone is drawn. I'm sure they're just as marketable as anyone else. Hello there, I'm Poopy Butthole Pooerson. <coughs> oh, you can call me Dirty Wet Poopy Poopy Sloppy Pooer Hole. That's what my friends call me. They're gross. They're not punished for them. The audience speaks more from them than they're capable of giving. Uh, we're the Smiths. This here's my best buddy, pumpkin seeds and peanuts. Hey, would you like to hear our secret language? I bet you didn't know about this. Trouple up a do, 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 a trouple up a do. All right, that's it. Shut the. F I'm getting sick of it. I got a fucking gun. I don't even understand what's happening over there. Are they a family? Their pupils, their scribble marks, their heads change in every shot. I mean, is it really that hard to subcontract to Korean animators? Maybe they're alternative. Don't tell me about alternative. We're alternative. That over there is some bizarre ass art school bullshit. This is just the beginning, you realize. This entire block is going to become completely unsellable. Look at me, I'm wiggling my arms and jiggling me legs, just like me grandmama. Hello? Hi, I'm Lynn. I'm pumpkin seed and peanuts. I like swinging me arms and moving me legs. You like? You're not like the other boys, are you? Check this out, m'lady. How can drawings like that even afford to live in a neighborhood like this? Probably some kind of national endowment for the arts. For all we know, they didn't buy the place at all. Maybe they're doodles that drifted in from the margin of some drug addict's notebook. They're not doodles! They're just absurd! And I'm in love with pumpkin seed and peanuts, and I'm pregnant, and I know that's very abrupt and hard to follow, but from now on, so am I, because I'm unmarketable too! Oh my god. Lynn, you get back here right now! This is to be continued!